everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally getting at the penthouse. I am finally finishing it and if you guys do want to download it, it will be in the origin gallery. So just make sure that you use my hashtag KristenMarieXO and it is under the title Luxury Modern Penthouse. So this actually cost $191,775 thousand simoleons so it's definitely luxury and it's definitely not cheap so it actually is two bedrooms two bathrooms and one of the bedrooms upstairs actually has two twin size beds the other one has a double and it's very open concept and I feel like this apartment just flows so well and I really wanted it just to be like so open and including like upstairs you will see here shortly that that just kind of overlooks into the kitchen downstairs so I just really wanted it to be very modern and it's very cool tone so this is full of like white gray black and just like some pops of greenery so I definitely will be doing some more penthouse builds including some more colorful ones just for some of you guys um, that don't really like using like a lot of these like cooler toned themes so I definitely will be doing a lot more I just really wanted to finish this penthouse because honestly you guys it's been driving me nuts I did this so long ago but um, like I've mentioned a million times I just wasn't able to do it without like because this build actually took me I think it was like three and a half hours so it took me a little bit of time to actually get this the way I liked it so if I had to do it within an hour I feel like it just wasn't gonna look the way I wanted it to and I really wanted to bring out like the rich luxurious feel to this apartment so this is like super tall ceilings and I felt like I just wanted to make that kitchen really stand out and be like one of the main focal points in the downstairs so I did layer up a bunch of the cupboards and just make sure you guys have your counters off if you did want to um, have access to a bunch of the different counters and I just want to mention if you guys do download any of my built including this one just make sure that you have your cheats um, enabled and then you have your move objects cheat on as well just to make sure that everything is placed the way it needs to be and I do size things up quite a bit in this apartment and I do like it is full of this greenery so I do like putting ovens and things like that into the islands the only thing with some of these like oven or stoves they kind of have that like ledge on the back and it's kind of annoying so I did end up using what is that like a flower box and then just put some plot pl that potted plants beside it so it kind of gave this kitchen just that much more of like a nice personality character I don't really know how to explain it but I like how it turned out because it kind of hid that like part on the stove so that's definitely one of the things that you guys can do if you have your move objects cheat on is just kind of put things where they normally wouldn't go just to kind of like give it a little bit more of a look and hide some things that you might not want to see so I do end up like when you guys see me do some of this building um, actually right there for some reason when I was first like deleting some of the inside wall somehow I deleted that wall and I couldn't figure out why <laughs> that it was so dark but I did figure it out and yeah so that was weird and then um, you will see that I changed things around so many times one of the rooms that I struggled with the most was actually like one of the main entrances um, where I do end up putting like the living room or like the seating area and if you guys notice, there is no TV in this apartment. Oh no, there is. There is one upstairs. So there is not one in the downstairs seating area, but there is one in the upstairs hallway. I actually forgot about that. So there is so much seating in this apartment. I wanted it to be very like an entertainment kind of apartment, just like that you could have like, because I picture penthouses to be like very lively and full of people. So um, like the kitchen has the four stools and then there's like a bar entertaining entertainment area and then like there's the piano and lots of seating just in every area including outside so yeah I definitely have so many different ideas with some of these penthouses that I actually want to build 
and I have like a bunch of different themes and different things like that that I want to do. So some of them, like I feel like this one was like just as much space outside as there was inside. So I think the next one that I'm doing, it's very massive, like the actual build itself. So I can't wait to start it and I just wanted to get this one up so bad and I'll probably actually delete um, the uh, download that I already put in the gallery that was like this penthouse that was just unfurnished. So because I did end up kind of changing the build part of it because I put in some extra windows and things like that. So I'll probably delete the empty one and put this one up and I feel like that will kind of help like eliminate any confusion. So um, this bar area I actually changed a bunch of times. I felt like it like this apartment or not apartment the penthouse is actually so massive I felt like sometimes it was a little bit difficult to actually furnish it without making it look tacky because I didn't really want a lot of like little tiny clutter plants and things like that so I did size things up because I feel like in these large um, apartments sometimes like less is more so if you do end up making items bigger I feel like it just like fits in the area a lot better and you're gonna see me put in a bunch of these like posts or these beams but I do end up switching them so that they do actually match the same beams that were used on the outside of the house and I changed the wallpaper a bunch of times and it's just awesome I have so much more fun now that I'm actually able to like take my time and really get it like the way I feel it's perfect so I mean you guys might want to get into this penthouse and like put some color on the walls change some of the furniture around and if you guys do end up doing that just make sure send me a screenshot on Twitter I would love to see what you guys do with these apartments or maybe if you guys have like um, some families or your sims in these apartments just send me some screenies on Twitter I'd love to see you guys enjoying some of my builds and Oh my gosh, I just want to tell you a little story. So I've actually been, um, like once in a while I'll watch Graveyard Girls videos, Bunny, and like, I don't know, I just find I like her videos because she's not like your typical like beauty queen, like beauty guru. I just feel like she's like your normal girl and I really enjoy watching her videos. I know that her videos cater a lot to like younger like the younger crowd, but she actually put a while ago this, um, what is it called? Um, oh gosh, it's like fish bowl, oh, fish bowl slime. And the feel and texture of it was so interesting to me. And I finally attempted to make it the other day. And honestly, everywhere, all the stores in my town, Walmart, like all of like the littler stores were completely sold out of white glue. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it's February, so it's like the middle of the school year for everyone. So I didn't understand why there would be none. I even went to the dollar store. Like there was no glue. There was none of like the white Elmer's glue. There was none of the clear, none of the clear with glitter, like no glue. I've never heard tell of that before. So the only glue I was able to find was like, oh my gosh, it's Elmer's, but it's like extreme hold or something like that. So I ended up getting that and then we ended up making it but it was so like thick and I'm not sure if it had something to do with like using the extreme hold glue and it was so funny because I actually put it on Twitter and <laughs> it was like honestly oh my gosh like what the next day she put up a new um, recipe for snow cone slime I think it is. And now I want to make that and I, I don't know, like I tried to, she put a link to actually get the like little polyurethane, um, crystals or whatever they're called to put like in it, but they don't ship to Canada. And that's honestly one of the most annoying things for me and using Amazon is so many of the stores and sellers don't actually, actually ship to Canada. So like using amazon.ca it's actually more limited there's not as much like selection on there so that's I don't know annoying I might end up actually having to drive like 
an hour or so to like the craft store because I want to try this so bad. I don't watch like any of the ASMR videos, but once in a while I do. Like there was this one girl that she would use like connect sand and cut it and I don't know, it's so strange to watch, but like oddly satisfying at the same time. I can't even explain it. And I want to make this, I want to make it work, and they actually didn't even have like the gems or anything like that that I had to use to get that like crunch. So I'm probably going to end up making a trip to the craft store to make this stupid slime. So I mean, I don't even really have time to do that, but I'm desperate in need of like making this slime. I don't know why. I want to make it. Let me know in the comments if you guys actually attempted to make her slime or anything like that. Um, I'm going to try to use the clear glue because I feel like that's a little bit runnier and I feel like it might make it like a little bit more slimier because the stuff that I made, it turned out feeling like in between slime, silly putty, and play-doh. Like it was so weird and once you put it in a container, it'll like melt down and it's so strange but yeah, so that's like my weird thing to talk about today. <laughs> and you might not even be interested, but um, back to the build. So I'm trying to figure out where I am. I feel like this is, oh, so I did try to like put layers of that bar, like the bar shelves with all the bottles, but it just was a little bit tacky looking to me. I feel like those bottles and those shelves were just too small for the area. And like I said, sometimes putting like smaller things in here just make it look tacky. And I was really trying hard to go for like a luxurious, glamorous kind of feel. And that's why I used a lot of the vintage glamour items. I do end up taking that zebra print mat out and change this around a million times because honestly, like I said, this really was the hardest room. And I think it was just because like there was the entrance door on one wall and then like just that big, large, like open area. So it was kind of hard to fill that space without it being like overwhelming and like ridiculous looking. So I do end up taking a break from this area and move on to the upstairs because honestly it was so frustrating. I just, I couldn't figure it out. And this build I actually did in two days. So the first part you're gonna see and then after like I save it and start again, it's like the next day because I just needed to take a break from this apartment and I was trying to like make sure that like I had a lot of different like interesting like areas in the apartment and or in the penthouse and I felt like I was starting to use like a lot of the same thing. So sometimes I just like to step away from it and just stop thinking about it and then like when you start to build again you kind of have like a fresh mind and different ideas will come to you. So um, in the upstairs originally for some reason I was going to actually try to do like one bedroom. Oh and here trying to figure out what I wanted to do with a coffee table. It just wasn't working like I do end up not even using a coffee table but um, up here is the upstairs and I do end up putting in that um, like, it's not a loft area, but it does kind of like look over into the kitchen. And I feel like it just fit perfectly in this apartment just because that kitchen is so large. And for some reason, I couldn't figure out how to put the floor above that because I was actually going to put like a railing there with some plants, but I don't know why I didn't realize I just had to like pull the floor over, but um, yeah, so if you guys do download this, you might want to do something over top of that elevator. So I did actually put the elevator on the outside of the house just because, um, I don't know, it just looked better out there for me. And this is where I did attempt to actually make this like a super ginormous, like master bedroom. And I feel like it was just too big and it was just going to get too full of clutter. So um, this is pretty much where I ended it. I think like I did um, kind of design over the bed and you'll see like there is just so much space like that's a double bed and like that whole entire upper, upper level is empty. So I mean if I put in like a vanity or a desk it was just going to be like these awkward areas in this like open room. So I do end up making two bedrooms up here and I had a lot of extra space in the hallway. And I like that it was just, I don't know, 
so much space that I felt like it wasn't like it really felt like a penthouse. There was so much like room and area. So I mean with this being such a large penthouse, I mean if you worked with it, you could totally put in some more bedrooms. But I kind of just wanted to keep it um, like I wasn't going for like a large family um, build if that makes sense. So I definitely will be doing some more penthouses that are like tons of bedrooms and tons of space. And I do, I did change that. Um, I felt like some of the colors was a little bit darker. And you will see that I do use that lavender a lot in this build. I use it in a lot of the areas and I do actually end up deleting that spot in the bedroom right there that had the candles because I did just put that down into the bar area and I felt like it was one of those areas that you didn't really want to like repeat because it was kind of like a really nice focal area so yeah so this is where I'm putting in the two bedrooms and that open area that you see where like the pat or the balcony is that's actually like the um, hallway so I do end up putting like a fireplace in there and there's a TV over the fireplace in a sitting area and it's honestly one of my favorite parts of the house so I didn't put a lot on the balcony outside I didn't want to like clutter it up too much but there is from the previous build the outside like um not picnic table the outside like umbrella table that had the clear umbrella so I did end up keeping that and I did bring in some um palm trees like just throughout the build because when I was first doing the um, build like I didn't know if I wanted to put a lot of the palm trees but I felt like it just fit really nice with this so um, yeah this is where I'm just kind of bringing in the beams to the inside I felt like it just kind of made it looked more finished and I don't even know why I didn't do that <laughs> at the beginning but um, what floor did I use? I actually ended up using some like tile or like one of the floors that I don't normally use and I love how it turned out. I did end up wanting to put some kind of like divider wall but that was a little bit too long. So definitely let me know in the comments what kind of builds you guys would like to see whether it be penthouses or family builds. I have one that I want to do that's like an underground theme. So I will be putting up some apartment builds in the coming like upcoming uploads. So I have some of those coming up because I feel like um since I've been able to do some larger builds, I've been doing like a lot of these like houses, penthouses, and I've kind of stayed away from apartments for a while. So I definitely will be getting back into that. And actually in this video, the last three minutes are actually just screenshots because there were so many areas that I actually had to take pictures of. So definitely make sure that you guys watch those. I love taking those screenshots. And they're honestly one of my favorite parts of doing these builds is doing the screenshots because I feel like you can just kind of like get a feel of the houses and apartments just by like slowly watching them like transform into the house if that makes sense. So yeah, that's one of the things you guys like especially now we're making these longer voiceovers. One of the things you guys are going to have to get used to is the fact that I'm really awkward and I struggle with words sometimes. <laughs> so, um just putting that out there, if sometimes I say things that don't make sense, that's just me and it's probably always going to be like that. I know that since I've been making these videos, I know that I've become like a lot more confident and comfortable. And like it was so awkward when I first started like trying to talk. I used to just do like strictly music over everything. And I did so many creative sims. And now I feel like um, I'm definitely able to talk to you guys and share different things. So actually while I've been recording this video, my family home um, went up. So this is Tuesday and I think this one um, that you guys are watching today is going to go up Thursday. But... Um, I've actually been getting a lot more of you guys request me on Instagram. So if you guys use Instagram or Twitter, um, you can follow me there under Kristen Marie XO. I do have my Instagram like private, so I definitely will put you through. Just send a request and I just have it that way. Just, I don't know, because it's like a gaming channel. I might eventually 
make it just like public but I do post like random things like from my dog to just random things throughout my day so once in a while like I always post whenever I do put a new video up on Twitter and um I just kind of like I'll use that for everything like I'll put sims things I use it for like just like my real life like everyday random things so if you guys do use either of those I know there is like so many things now with like tumblr twitter facebook like so many different things but um those are the other two things that I have like linked with my youtube so Hopefully you guys enjoy how this build turned out. I know these are longer. I don't think all of my builds are going to be these like long, super huge builds, but I definitely wanted to get some of these done. I wanted to do that family home so bad because that was honestly one of the most requested videos from you guys was to um, do like a larger family home. And now that I was finally able to do that, I definitely wanted to get that one done and this penthouse was next on the list. I feel like I've been wanting to do this for so long and like I said, you guys have been asking me to finish this penthouse so it's finally done. I hope you guys like it and I think like some of the future builds, um, not all of them are going to be modern. Like this one here is the fashion district so I kind of wanted to keep with that theme and I feel like that's why I do like when I think fashion district I think for some reason like the white walls and um just kind of like toned down a bit but I'm going to be doing like I said some more of like the really colorful and just really different looking ones as well so I'm definitely going to be having a lot of um different things that I don't usually like get into so I feel like penthouses are kind of different because it's just like this plot of land up in the air so you really have to work with it to make it not just look like a house in the middle of grass so one of the th things that actually bugs me about these penthouses is you actually can't use like any of the terrain is that the right word like where you can spray paint um like dirt and some like pathways and things like that you actually can't use that so that's really annoying to me because I feel like I use those things so much and I feel like it would be so awesome to actually be able to use some of those pathways and I do end up using these like circular um like bricks or I don't know what they're called just cement round whatever anyways and I usually always put like the dirt circles behind it because I feel like it just makes it like a little bit more realistic looking and I would have liked to have been able to use some of those pathways I feel like on the back part of the house like um where the other littler like I call it a soaker pool but um there's like two pools in the outside there's like the large I call it like an entertainment um, pool and then I have like kind of like a smaller pool and I would have liked to have been able to put some like um, pathways with some gardens so I feel like I just wish we were able to use that spray paint so here I'm kind of just filling it in with a lot of these plants and I mean you can get more plants than you actually think you have just by like using the same plant and like sizing it up you get like two and one with like completely different look you know <laughs> so I like to do that a lot I like to use the same kind of plants just like different sizes because I feel like sometimes it just helps it blends a little bit better and I do kind of add in some more of like the smaller um, I don't think they're aloe vera or cactus, but they're just like that really desert kind of looking plant. And here is where I added in those extra windows. I felt like it was just a little bit too like empty in that back area. And I feel like it just made it look a little bit nicer on the inside as well. Just to have those like extra windows. And I did kind of make some seating area. Like that's the elevator there with the mailbox. And I felt like it just kind of like fit this penthouse better on the back area just because um I don't know the actual look of the apartment just looked better with it back there so I don't actually mind the doors for the elevators but um I did put some seating area there and brought some of that lavender back here as well 
And a lot of the things that I did put, like when I did the first build, like some of those potted plants over by the door, I do end up swapping them out. And I can't remember if I had um, all of the packs by then. Um, if you guys can tell, I'm actually like slowly losing my voice and because I'm like up to 24 minutes now. So talking this much, oh my gosh, like I really got to get used to it. But I hope that you guys don't mind these talk through videos. I know some people like them, some people don't. But I personally, when I'm watching them, I actually enjoy just listening to the people talk instead of putting in like some copyright free music. So I did keep this back area by the pool kind of, um, simpler with like a bunch of seating and like lounge chairs and I did end up changing out some of those ladders in the pool because I didn't realize when I was building them they kind of looked rusty like they had that like older looking thing so I do end up putting the bubble machine here and I kind of like hide it in with the bushes because it reminds me of like a hookah or whatever they're called and I do just add in just a bunch of like some extra plants and I just kind of wanted to bring in a lot of that and switched out the beams just to kind of make it like fit better. So I do end up putting in some of those posts that have the hanging lights. So just to kind of brighten it up and I think that that is pretty much at the end. Um, we're going to get into these screenshots, my favorite part of the video. So. Um, if you guys did like how this build turned out, as always, make sure to give me a very big thumbs up. Let me know that you did enjoy, and if you haven't already, um, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. I do post regularly, usually like every other day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy how this turned out. And like I said, it is in the gallery under Luxury Modern Apartment. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.